Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh, ooh. I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm your fancy blonde, fancy dress. That you love Fuck my love Fuck my love Fuck my love When can we get together again? Come on I've lost you How can I tell you I love you anymore? Come on I know I did season right here in Miami Beach might I add now we're standing in front of George's one of his paintings tell my audience about this painting this is really gorgeous all these tropical birds parakeets when I was a kid I had a parakeet and I had a canary and with at my grandma's and she raised me so this is inspired by that experience uh, from my childhood. So this is actually the most recent painting, but I had given it a lot of thought and had been wanting to do this for a long period of time. I think it's stunning. I really love it. So. And I think it's perfect for Miami. I think it's like the most perfect painting here to sell in Miami Beach. This would look gorgeous in somebody's mansion. Well, we, we had talked about it and we had that idea and then I, I had gotten fabric for the sky and the birds and one thing kind of led to the other and initially I started with just one bird and then I kept adding birds and it became a whole fence, if you will, of uh, call it seven is a good luck number so I have seven birds. So I call it some bird smile. Wow. And How long did it take you to paint this? It took a couple of weeks to do, but I pinned it. I, I pinned them and I moved them around. So as I'm doing this, they, they kind of transition and change. And then once I got the size, I did several drawings and Xeroxes of the birds themselves and then decided how it was going to be. So initially, there were 14 birds because I had a reflection of the birds on the bottom. If you look at these shapes, the silhouettes, but it, w it became too much and it was distracting, so we actually took them out. And we actually used them in other paintings that haven't finished or been resolved, but there are other paintings that relate to this painting that we're working on now in New York. How exciting. So it's a series of uh, four where they go in, a, they transition in a row, so that and they're all the same size canvas, so one after the other after the other, so they talk to one another. You've been here before showing your own. I showed work here before, but it's the first time where I've actually come down. We ha we're working on a project 
and and we decided at the 11th hour we couldn't get get a flight. So what was interesting is because I kind of live on the fence with my partner Deborah Rothberg, we decided to drive down, and I have a lot of energy, so we did it. Terrific! Tell my ways where can we go to find out more information about your art? What's it, your Facebook page? It's uh, George Shulman Artist. Uh, at gmail.com. Beautiful. Thanks. More interviews right here coming up at Art Miami. Pink Champagne Kisses. Fine Art Gallery in the Hamptons, and he's going to explain some of the beautiful artwork that we're looking at, the paintings, and it's all being shown at this fabulous art show right here at Art Miami. In its 27th year, Art Miami is the biggest show in Miami, not Art Basel, Art Miami. Isn't that correct? It's true. Uh, they have more dealers, and they have been operating the show here longer than Art Basel. That's correct. That's really incredible. And everybody thinks Art Basel is the place to be, but it, it's a name, that's it's for sure. It's a name. That's it's for sure. Name. Now, yeah. why do you love Art Miami so much? You know what? It's the quality of the people who produce the show. They're very professional, and they attract a um, high caliber crowd of dealers and a high caliber crowd of. Um, clients, uh, potential buyers. You can go to a lot of shows and it's just a lot of what we call looky loos. The people who come to the Art Miami shows at the context are serious. Now, tell my audience, the work is beautiful here. How many pieces of art are we looking at besides artist George Shulman's work? So, um, over on the back wall here, it's all work by Howard Schatz. Howard Schatz has a exhibition right now at the Brooklyn Museum. He's considered one of the country's leading art photographers. Uh, he used to be, interestingly, a retinal surgeon and switched over to become an artist. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah, very. What a switch is that? Yeah, yeah. and his work. It, you know what, I sometimes have a problem with photography as an art medium because it's just a picture, but when you see George's work, you see him speaking with his own voice. Harriet is 84 years old. She was a student of de Kooning in the 60s and early 70s, and the New York Times wrote about Harriet that she returned the beauty and grace to the female form that de Kooning took away. So we view her in a dialogue with de Kooning I think she's one of the greatest living American artists out there and completely, totally undervalued. 
Um, then we have um, on sidewalls work by Stan Brodsky. Stan is 91 years old and he is producing the best work of his entire 60 year career. Oh it, it, it's incredible, absolutely incredible. It just goes to show you, never just give up. Never give up. Tell my ladies, where can we go to find out more information about Lawrence Fine Arts? So you can go to www.lawrence-fine-arts.com or you can find us on Artsy or First Dibs. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. And introduce yourself to the camera again. Again, Howard Shapiro, the owner of Lawrence Fine Art. Thank you, too. Thank you. We'll be back in a moment. More interviews, more art coming up right here at Cognac's Corner. Pink champagne kisses. Hotel and it's all about Art Miami, Art Basil, and I'm here with these two fabulous ladies who are into art. We're here at the Azar Gallery. I'm here with the gallery owner and I'm here with the artist that painted the king himself. Introduce yourself to the camera. Hi, I'm Latifa Maffini and I'm the owner of Azar Gallery. Hello, I'm Chamomile Hickson, and this is The King live from Hawaii, 1973. Now tell my audience, obviously, you were inspired by this magnificent creature. Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, tell my audience how long it took you to create this gorgeous painting. This piece took about three weeks. And three weeks? That's I, I, it? The thing about it is that the thing about it is that he had to be killing it. And I'm not sure which song he's singing, but I wasn't happy with him until I knew he was just killing it. Because that's what he always did in real life. He was yeah. just, he was just, no one was he better. He overworked. He overworked himself. And you can tell the note is perfect. You know, it's just like, and I look at that, I feel that there's a note coming out of his mouth. Now, you, I've, obviously you must have taken this from an actual photograph. Well, yeah, I used about four different photographs. And so of the face, I sort of made up and the, the lays and different things. And that's how I, that's how I do it. There's, there's a lot of stuff on the internet and you have to, you have to mix it up or else. Now, tell my audience a little bit about your art. What sets it apart from every other artist? This stuff, this stuff is about infinite possibility. And the only, the only thing that I care about is, like, is bringing people joy. And that's what the glitter does. It does it naturally. It reflects light back to people. When people walk past a glitter painting, it sparkles at them. And it changes when it's evening, morning. It's a different painting. So infinite possibility. I began the whole thing with one yes painting, Y-E-S, gold glitter. And that, that said it all. That did oh my it. God. And you, darling, you chose this fabulous I artist. Tell me, I'm, I'm, tell my audience how you guys met. Oh, I give her a first show. This is a long yeah, time, a long time ago. It was, so we've been, been done we've known each other for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> So you met at a show? We actually met uh, through, friends, through friends, and she showed me some of her art, and I and loved she was it. The, and I was just beginning, yeah. and she was the first person to say, this you is should, this, no one has this, exactly. let's do it. And she gave me a show, and people bought it, and here we are. So oh, your paintings are gorgeous. Thank you. Thank Tell my audience we can go to find out more information about your gallery. Info at Azad Gallery. NYC.com. So you're in New York. You're we're from New York. York. Exactly. We're in New York City. So yes, we are too. You know us. Yes, that's we awesome. We are too. And you, you darling, where can we find out more about you as an artist? You can find me on Instagram, Chamomile Hickson Art. Spell it. C-A-M-O-M-I-L-E Hickson, H-I-X-O-N Art, A-R-T. <laughs> Fabulous. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll be back in a moment. 
dollars, more interviews, more art right here at Art Aqua Art at the Aqua Hotel in Miami Beach. Pink champagne kisses. Come on down. <laughs> I'm Cognac Willa Lane, and it's all about aqua art right here at the Aqua Hotel in Miami Beach, right off of Collins Avenue. And I'm here with the director of this fabulous event. She put this whole incredible thing together. Introduce yourself to the camera. Uh, well, my name is Kathleen de Bakker, and uh, this is my second year that I've put aqua together. I also put together Art New York, which is a much bigger event. Oh my God, yes. And, um, and it's fun. <laughs> now, this is your first year. No, the second. The second. second year. Could you tell my audience what the challenges are that you have when putting an event like this together? To be totally honest with you, this is a very easy event. It's very, all the galleries are so laid back. They're so nice. Um, it, it just, I mean, I've done big, big fairs. I used to run the Armory Show in New York, which is a huge undertaking. So to me, this event is uh, easy. Last year, we had a, the biggest challenge last year was the rain. We had rain for five days. Oh my God. And so this year is easy and it's fun. There's a good vibe. Uh, so, yeah. So we're having fun and enjoying the art. Uh, and we have really good art. We have really beautiful. How many gla uh, galleries are showing here? Well, too? we have uh, 51 galleries. We have 47 rooms. There is a couple of rooms that have two galleries in a room. Um, yeah, and, and the rooms are they're smaller rooms like this, and there's a couple of really bigger rooms. But yeah, it's very easy. It's, it's, uh, it's enjoyable. Well, it's, it's certainly beautiful. I'm enjoying myself. I think everything I'm looking at is so fabulous and so beautiful. And everyone should come to Aqua Art. It is an amazing, amazing event right here during Art Miami and Art Basel in November into December. Can you tell my audience where we could go to find more information? What is the website? It's uh, aquaartmiami.com and um, we are, the thing about Aqua is that it's one of the, hold on, I have to turn off my phone, sorry. Um, it's, it's a very intimate fair. Most of the fairs in Miami are huge. They're in big tents and they can be really nice and, and you can see top, top artists. But with Aqua, it's, it's a little more intimate. Not everybody is super famous, but you can discover really, really cool artists. I've, it's, I'm been, I am discovering really cool art. This gallery alone is amazing. Just looking at this, and this, this looks like Audrey from New York. Oh, this is a gallery from New York. Beautiful. Yeah. Just gorgeous. One more time, the website. Okay. www.aquaartmiami.com. Uh, Fabulous. Give me a kiss, darling. Don't go away yet. We'll be back.
Mexican and Mommy Darlings, more interviews coming up right here in Miami during Art Miami and Aqua Art and Art Basil. Pink Champagne Kisses. Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardo. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said the cognac, ooh, ooh. I said the cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm your bubbly blonde, fabulously dressed to impress. Been a Cry Baby Productions, darlings.